Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Today, just a very quick little video and I want to show you three free ways that you can check to make sure that your file is seamless. So if you're printing out onto fabric and you need no errors in your pattern, or if you're printing, uh, uploading onto print-on-demand sites like Redbubble and you also need that pattern to be seamless. Okay, so we're not using expensive programs. I'll be using things that are freely available on the internet. Okay, so let's go. Okay guys, so here we are in Inkscape. As you know, I uh, create a lot of uh, patterns that I print out onto fabric. So if you're here for the fabric side of things, this works for you as well. And if you're here for print on demand, I often use those pattern tiles to upload onto sites like Redbubble. If you need help with how to actually create those uh, pattern tiles, um, I have some videos on that as well two main ways to do this in Inkscape. The other way you're not going to have these issues because your pattern tile is going to be seamless but if you're using um, uh, the other method, the method I've used to do this, you're going to have to check to make sure it's seamless and Inkscape isn't the best one to use for that I find um, unless you go into the seamless pattern tile you could do but I want to check in another another site. I want to check in another site to make sure that that is uh, a accurate one. So here we have our tile um, if you need help with the export and things like that, go and see uh, my other other videos. And we are going to go to, oh, there it is actually, um, Toils Tile Tester. I'll just show you how to get there. Toils Tile Tester um, pops up with this box here. And we click on Toils Tile Tester. There it is. And go into your, um, your file. So I have here the non-tiling one. And we're just going to drag that onto the screen like that. Now, it comes up with these little red dots around your actual file, and you can see here how this S and C and I in the bottom of the, the, the E here are not translated down. I've managed to um, trans, transpose it over here, so the E is over the, um, over the line, which is where it should be, but I've missed this bit, and this bit's wrong, and obviously I've done that bit, but I've forgotten about this when I've done the... Uh, moving things around and you can I'll leave a link down below to that video where you can see how to actually do that So this is incorrect So we're just going to open up a, a another um, Another version of Toilet Tile Tester here and in this one I'm going to open up the tiling example So the pattern's not amazing. It was just a really quick one that I did oh, stop that. Um, Just to check and you can see here that while the design's not fantastic it does match over so the E is now here I've got the, this part of the design which was missing if you remember from here it is now in okay and this all matches over and I've moved this uh, design around so it pops um, pops over uh, the other side so that's one way you can check and here is another let's see let's go and find it where is it okay, I'll just bring another one um, so I'll just drag in a, another one here for you just so you can have a little bit look here's another example so you can see here that the book matches over on the sides and this matches over on the sides um, to be fair I think these stars are a little bit you know muddled up in there and I might go back and change that from an aesthetic point of view but it does actually tile um, and this tiles across here and you can see that there's no errors uh, around those edges and that's what you want to be looking for in your pattern file. So that's Toil's Tile Testers, that's the first one. The second one we can go to um, is Critter and we need Critter uh, for the third one because we need a JPEG and we need uh, a JPEG for that one whereas this is, this is PNG uh, files here. So we're going to go to Critter to check this is the wrap around the wrap around mode so I'll show you how we uh, get there for that we go to file and we want to go to open and we pull in our not tiling test piece here this is just some of the other tester things that I have been doing over the last week we've pulled in our file size I'm sorry pull in our file here and we're going to go to um, view wrap around mode and straight away you can see that there's some errors around that um, around that tile it doesn't look right um, so there you go that's just that wrap around mode there you go and then yet again uh, if we want to see the good one go to file open tiling example of this bring it in I 
Okay, here we go. You can see straight away these little bits are uh, in here. Go to view as wraparound mode and those issues uh, disappear a little bit. It's not a perfect file because I'm not quite so happy with the way this is, um, is working and obviously the design isn't fantastic, but you know, it's there. Okay, and then again, you can see here on uh, this book test, the wraparound mode, how that all works. Um, so we need a JPEG now to go over to um, the third one, which is a website called Next State. So I'm just going to use this file here to export. And we're going to export this as, um, I've already done it, um, as JPEG. So I'm just going to write JPEG. JPEG. I don't need to, this is just for my, my records here. We're going to save file type as um, critters, the actual document files for the program itself. Uh, normally you're probably going to want to export it as a PNG, so you click PNG, but you also might want a JPEG and we need a JPEG for um, uh, next date. So we're going to do that and press, so, yeah, okay, no, we don't want to do that. And so we now have our JPEG. We are going to go over to the internet again and we go oh here we go we're going to go to next date Actually, have I pulled that up? yes i have Let's just, i'll bring it up properly for you uh, next date print here we go so this is a fabric printing uh fabric printing website you go to print you go to fabric creator which is here and we're going to go to upload a file and then you select your jpeg version because a PNG won't upload, it needs to be a JPEG. And we hit open and it takes a little minute to have a thing. And it uploads your file as a, um, a one meter by one meter fabric square. Um, it's just good to see scale and things like that. You know, I like to think, oh, that's a meter. Okay, so I'm gonna have that many, you know, repeated designs over my, um, over my piece of fabric it's just a little bit of a you know a good way to check what it's going to look like and you can also increase and decrease the scale of it um, obviously I find uh, critter is better for checking the actual image like if, if you really want to get in there and have a look to make sure you've not got any you know, random pixels but this is quite a good way just to have a little bit of a look at the, um, the size particularly if you're sort of a bit more of a visual person and you want to have a look at that meter and go oh okay so if I've got a meter of fabric I'm going to have that many um, that many designs so there we are that's it in a nutshell three really quick ways on how you can check to make sure your file is seamless so we have taken our file from Inkscape we have checked it in um, Toil's Tile Tester we have dragged it into here um, put it on the um, screen and seen if it is or is not um, seamless we've gone into Critter and we have filed and opened our um, our image into here and we have gone into image and wraparound mode to check it and you can zoom in nice uh, nicely on critter you can go really nice and close and check to make sure there is no errors in that pattern tile and then the third thing we did is we went over to the next state website and we have imported it into um, this fabric print as a jpeg um, as i said it only accepts jpegs so um, you're going to need to be able to to do that and i guess that's a good video on how to actually change your png to a jpeg for free as well um, might do another video a little bit on that as well so there you go that's how you can check to make sure that your designs are seamless so thanks for watching and um, if you've got any other questions or you want to know how to do anything in particular uh, regarding you know fabric creating or anything like that particularly on the free programs um, let me know thanks for watching